Now to this shocking and sudden death of DJ Steven Boss, better known as Twitch. Police say that Twitch died by side in Los Angeles in a hotel room early on Tuesday, and now his tragic death is raising awareness for suicide prevention. That is the 12th leading cause of death in the U.S., and in general, men are at greater risk for suicide than women, and that's in part because men tend to use more lethal suicide means. The world still doesn't understand what happened to Twitch. DJ Steven, aka Twitch, was a big part of the entertainment industry. He had a great job on The Ellen Show and a beautiful family at home. But a few weeks ago, he decided to check into a hotel, and unfortunately, he never walked out alive. So let's get into it. <music> We need to talk about the unfortunate death of DJ Steven, also known as Twitch. So many of you guys have asked me to talk about this, but I'm still shaken up. I mean, he was only 40 years old, and this was the last thing anyone saw coming. Now to this shocking and sudden death of DJ Steven Boss, better known as Twitch. If you guys don't know who Steven is, he has a pretty big presence in show business. I mean, he's got 4 million followers on Instagram alone. But he really got his big break in 2008 when he was fourth runner-up on the show So You Think You Can Dance. He went on to do some acting, landing several roles where he could show off his dance skills. Steven played Jason in the Step Up movie, and he was also in the Magic Mike XXL movie. So he could really dance, and he was good great at what he did. I mean, he was dancing all over the Ellen show, and that's where I remember him from. I am going to dance with Twitch. In 2014, he went on Ellen's daytime talk show as a DJ. He quickly became a fan favorite. <laughs> Now let's talk a little bit about Steven Twitch's family and what led up to this, because he's actually married to a woman named Allison that he met while doing a gig. Allison and Twitch began dating after meeting on So You Think You Can Dance. He was the season four runner up and returned to the show as a judge this year. You are a star as well. You rose and you signed tonight. That is so full circle that he was fourth runner up one season and now he's a judge on this show. And he had a lot of great things going for him. Despite the Ellen show going away, he had plenty of work. And I mean, look at his family. He's got such a beautiful family. He's got three children with his wife and they all look so happy. But I got so much love, it's lighting up. This is how the world knew Twitch. Dancing, smiling, enjoying life around the Christmas tree with the love of his life and mother of his three kids, Allison Holker. So people love Twitch. He seems like a great guy, a great father. He's funny. He boosts the mood no matter what project he's a part of. So how could this make sense? I mean, everyone's asking, make it make sense. A few weeks ago, Twitch checked into a motel on a Monday. It's about a mile from his home and he was carrying a small bag. Hotel employees checked in on his room that following day because it was time for checkout and they found him there. Steven's wife, Allison, ran into the police station on Tuesday and she was frantic because she said that her husband, Steven, left the home without his car, which is something that he doesn't do. Can you imagine getting home, expecting your husband to be there, and then he's not? You have no idea why, where he could be. Is he a missing person? Was he kidnapped? What could have happened? But Allison was worried, so maybe she suspected something because when he left on Monday, she was like, okay, where is why isn't he answering his phone? And then by the time it was Tuesday, she realized something was really wrong. So pretty much as Allison is going into the police station, probably trying to report her husband missing or try to figure out if they know anything, the police are getting a call from a motel. Around 11.15 a.m. on Tuesday, they got a call that there was a guest there, Stephen, who had passed away due to an inflicted gunshot wound. And I do want to note that I read that people did not even hear this gun go off, which I think is like fascinating because in a hotel, you're very close to each other. Walls aren't necessarily that thick. So how did, how did we miss a gunshot in the middle of the night? I don't know how that noise would just, you know, go past anyone. So did confirm today that Twitch did take his own life here at this Encino, California hotel. It's called the Oak Tree Inn. We spoke with the manager here and he shared with us that Twitch checked into the hotel on Monday and on Tuesday morning, 
he had not checked out. Checkout time was 11 a.m. So management went to knock on the door around 11.15, and it was then that a housekeeper discovered his dead body in the room. So this is tragic for everyone involved, and there's even a guest who claims that she saw some blood and a body. She noticed the blood, she noticed the body, and that's it, and then she came out, she was freaked out. So people can't get over the fact that Twitch has passed away. It just does not make sense. How does the happiest guy with the most beautiful family end up in this situation? And there are some conspiracy theories that are really rubbing me the wrong way. Actually, I was talking to my dad and I was like, oh, I'm going to make this video. And he was like, oh, you know, I heard that he had some like investment or some financial issues and that contributed to why he did this. And I was like, well, let me look that up. And it's <laughs> it's just a rumor, which is unfortunate because normal people believe this. There's an online theory claiming that Twitch and his family were in bad shape financially before his death, and that's because some online detectives found out that he invested a lot of money in cryptocurrency, and lately there's been a lot of issues with cryptocurrency, so people thought that maybe because he invested a lot of money, he lost a lot of money, which would have put him in, I guess, a depressive state. So maybe he did lose a good chunk of money in this, but do you think this would lead to his passing? It doesn't seem to add up, and it seems like there's more of a mental health problem here because there's a mental health crisis everywhere. Police say that Twitch died by side in Los Angeles in a hotel room early on Tuesday, and now his tragic death is raising awareness for suicide prevention. If there's anything good coming out of this, people are starting to respect and question and learn more about what depression looks like. Because when you see someone like Steven Twitch, um, you don't see a depressed person, but that doesn't mean anything. We don't know what's going on in his mind. High functioning depression is a real thing. These people are able to get through life with depression and they really just bottle it in. Sometimes I relate to that because I just continue to work, continue to push myself, even if I'm not feeling the best. And that can really contribute to your depression. This person says that it can have serious consequences if not addressed and treated. Suicide is the 12th leading cause of death in the U.S. And in general, men are at greater risk for suicide than women. And that's in part because men tend to use more lethal suicide means, such as was the case here where gun, um, a gun was used in the, in the commission of this Depression is a real thing, people, and I hope that this is another lesson that we need to acknowledge it and to treat it. And we really don't know if, you know, Stephen went to go and seek treatment. We don't know about his personal life, but he did work very closely with Ellen, and she's put out a statement. You guys know how I feel about Ellen, but I, honestly, unless she's really, truly heartless, she must be devastated over this. She wrote, quote, I'm heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family, and I loved him with all my heart. I will miss him. Please send your love and support to Allison and his children. Shoot, short and sweet. I mean, for someone who worked together for years and years, she really um, simplified that. Maybe she didn't want to do an extra tweet. She just wanted to make sure it was, you know, really short and simple. But I, I'm not trying to, like mock that. I read this earlier, but I was expecting a little bit more when I went into it. I was like, okay, well, I mean, it's sweet. At least she's acknowledging their family and I'm sure she will miss him because he was great on the show. A big part of her success, I may add, but the paparazzi actually caught up with Twitch back in September and he was doing pretty well. He said he was happy that Ellen was ending and that he had more time to spend with his family. He had a bunch of different reality shows that he was hosting a lot of work. So there's a lot of different like productions and that are impacted by this. I wonder if they won't even like, you know, show these reality shows that are maybe not out yet. But the amount of people who have spoken out about this is unreal. I even saw tweets from Michelle Obama. So this guy had such an impact and he needs to be remembered for this. His wife has recently made a post, actually today that I'm filming this, and she wrote my one and only, oh, how my heart aches. We miss you so much. Allison has also provided an additional statement to the media about his passing. She says that he was the backbone of of our family, the best husband and father, and inspiration to his fans. To say that he left a legacy would be an understatement. Telling Extra in part, quote, it is with the heaviest of hearts that I have to share my husband Stephen has left us. Going on to say, he was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. My husband and I, we've always danced in our relationship, whether it be like in the kitchen or just for fun. And then we just kind of started filming it. 
Allison is so right about his legacy being positive, and his family, of course, is devastated. His mother, Connie, posted a picture, which was a FaceTime screenshot, and she wrote, Oh, if only I could FaceTime to heaven. I'm glad people are realizing that depression is a real thing and that this is a lesson that even the happiest people with everything going for them can be struggling. Someone was quoted saying that Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. It's so sad to see this happen to him because there's so much evil out here in Hollywood. He's truly one of the good guys who just was sucked in by this mental health crisis. And if you guys need any resources, I will try to link things below, but there are plenty of ways for you to learn for yourself or for other people. You may not even realize you're struggling with a mental illness. So definitely go and seek out those resources and inform yourself because if it's not for yourself, it could be for someone else. Else. Let's go ahead and open a peel box package item. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, here is my email. So it looks like this is a package from Jessica and it's all purple, which I love. Let's go ahead and see what it says. It also says fragile. So we've got a letter right here, all fancy, and it looks like there's something for the bath, which I'm so excited because I have a bath at my place. Whoa, look at the stamp on here. It's giving me Harry Potter, Hogwarts. Thank you, Sloan. Moon Crow Misty at Etsy. Ooh, I'll list everything below. Sloan, thank you for all your hard work and dedication to bringing your followers quality content. I love watching your videos while I work in my studio. It makes my day better. In one of your videos, you mentioned that you like roses. As for a thank you for all you do, I sent you my love spell candle and love beauty bath soak from my shop. Ooh, to inspire self-love, unconditional love, and to see one's true beauty. Wow. Thank you, Jessica. I'll list everything below. Definitely go and check out and support a fellow subscriber because we're all trying to make it out here. And this smells oh, so good. It has like the little wax thing on it. Wow. And with the nails too. Interesting. Oh, this looks so good. I cannot wait to take a bath with this. And then we've got, I, did she say bath? What was this? A bath soak? Oh, and a candle. So here's a candle. You guys know how I feel about my candles, and holy crap, look at that. Oh, we've got, like, roses in it. Oh, and it really smells like roses. That is, like, rose is, like, my tr my true favorite scent out of everything. Very Lana Del Rey. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. Definitely go and check out their shop below, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.